Like any good documentary, you couldn't script characters more interesting than these real life people. Um, it makes me wonder what other little worlds are going on out there that we have no idea about. Absolutely. But you know what? I think the real important topic is that snowstorm happening in the Kingston area right now that I think we should talk about. Um, but luckily, I have here the five day forecast, uh, and we can just review it really quickly. Sponsored by setdocumentary.com. I mean, Look, Bill, I don't need to tell you, it's it's cold out there with a capital C. I'm sure that you've been talking about it all morning. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, one degree, one degree, but let's talk about why. You know, I'm turning over to the map here, again, sponsored by setdocumentary.com. Uh, you can see that there's this major low pressure system moving in from the south, you know, kind of working its way through Prince Edward County, going all the way up into Kingston. and. <laughs> I don't know about you, I'm just going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to guess that uh, Highway 401 is completely jammed heading north today. I mean, I just don't think you're going to get anywhere. Um, but well, good news ahead. Good news ahead. Um, you know, as we go into the rest of the week, we kind of get into the double digits here. Yeah. Still a little cold, you know what I mean? But um, maybe with the right jacket. You know, well, you uh, I'm glad you have it in Celsius, too, because uh, I don't know how to do the conversion to Fahrenheit, and you're in absolutely, L.A. right now. So. Absolutely. So I just thought I'd just get that out of the way because I'm sure that – that's what people are tuning in for right now, and I just wanted to kind of share that information. So. I'm sure our upper New York State friends love that. Uh, <laughs> Scott, we thank you so much. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give that weather forecast to my boss in case down the road something happens <laughs> to me and I have to be replaced. I'm, re I'm recommending Scott Golick, not just a documentary filmmaker.